Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be cooking some chicken curry with potatoes. I'll be showing you how. So we need to add some vegetable oil in it. So let's get started. So here's the pot. Turn the camera down a bit. This is going to be put probably about two tablespoons. I have it on medium hot heat, so like number five. And we add the onions. I have onion, ginger, garlic paste, Thai chili, peppercorn, and these are all fresh. So I use one garlic core, and I use probably two spoons of ginger, and I use probably like 13 Thai chilies. Okay, you have it like medium meat, the stove is too high. I'm using a gas stove. We have an electrical stove, it's more like it doesn't cook faster. Then we have this little cinnamon stick, cardamom, cloves. So, Add that in. You can pick that up there, you can even like it. I keep it slow. This is your ginger garlic paste. Try to kill it. Add that in. You can mix that. From your Onion gets like golden brown, then you add these things. When you cook it, saute it until it starts sticking to the pan. Sorry, I turned my heat low right now. Because so. I don't want to burn it. you burn it, just add a little bit of water, right? Just touch it. And I'm using chicken thighs. You could prefer whatever you like. I use chicken with bone in because the meat is better. The smell the aroma is so low. Fresh. I cook this until it starts sticking to the pan. For a few minutes, then we add the tomatoes in. Most of the curry has tomatoes in it. So this is curry chicken with potato. By the way, I'm not in India, I'm in Canada. So if you want to learn anything, how to cook, comment below. I added diced one diced tomato. You can use a canned one if you have. Whatever you have around the house, you can use it. So we're gonna cook this. You can see how the everything's sticking to the pan. So we can cook this for a minute, and then we add the spices in. So this is turmeric. Put 
auto measure if you guys measure it make sure you just use a measuring tool let me put that's like two two tablespoons this is garam masala there's like different kinds of it you can, there's different kinds of it will be probably probably three tablespoons This is ground cumin. Just a pinch. If you overdo it, it won't taste good. It'll taste like mint. Just a pinch. Then we have the ground corinder by ground cilantro. Just a pinch. Same thing if you overdo it. Any taste good. And we'll throw in paprika. This is not spicy, so okay. three tablespoons. And then we're gonna throw in this kind of masala too, just a bit. And I cut it, my meat, I diced it, and I marinated it with soy sauce. So this is the meat. After you put your meat in, then you can turn the heat up a little bit. When it's cooked halfway, then we'll add the potatoes in. And we'll give it some gravy and we'll give it some herbs like cilantro. Always make sure to wash your hands. Put a little bit of soy sauce in it. Just a bit. Just a pinch. If you guys are doing it at home, use your immersion tool. Immersion cup. Why don't you always use the masala, like all the spices? I try to mix match. So that's how you taste your food, right? How you get the better taste. So we're gonna turn the heat up a little bit and cover it. Cook it about five minutes and we'll come back and check how it's doing. Chicken, you always make sure it's well done. You can cook it like medium rare, so make sure it's always done properly. So chicken always takes like twenty five minutes. It depends on the chicken. It's farm chicken it'll take a little bit longer. So we'll come back and check it in five minutes. And it's good to time it, right? Make sure you always time it on your phone or your stove timer. So that's what makes it better.
and make sure you always clean up after your mess. So let's get that way. Right now, I'm going to go upstairs and wash some dishes. We'll come back and check it. But after you run upstairs to wash some dishes, the is not working right now. So. See the texture? Just put the restaurant. You don't have to always go to the restaurant, guys. Get your stuff. If you just want to learn something, write under my video, write any comments you guys want, whatever you guys want me to just write it down. I'll be happy to make it. The time is like around 11.40 p.m. Right now. So, come back and check it, probably like in 5 or 8 minutes. Yeah, doing. The heat is on medium heat, and I'm using a gas stove.
me. I just came back from washing dishes. See how he's sticking? That's what you want. You don't want to turn it too hot. So check that out. How rich that is. Like most people like boneless meat, but boneless meat always breaks down. Like if you overcook it a little bit, you can just die. Check it out. Like if you guys want to buy any spices like that, you go to Superstore, Walmart, you know, they have it all. Just write down under my comments, but what do you guys want me to cook? And if you guys want to try this recipe, try it out. And if you guys tag me on IG, Instagram, my Instagram is pgboy03, F-I-J-I-B-O-Y-03, it's just like PGY. So we'll add the potato and we'll add some gravy to it. Like broth. Yeah, well, I wiped the whole floor, and it's all dirty.
And give it a mix. Looks good. When you get, whenever you guys are cutting potatoes, make sure you just cut it and put it under water so it doesn't go black. You'll have like a stain on it if you just leave it out. So this I used three potatoes and I cut it in probably I cut one potato in two like two pieces. Okay. So it's like three potatoes. And I'm using red potatoes. And you don't have to peel it, it's good for you. So. I'll have some cilantro to mix in there. This is a cilantro chop. Lots of um, gravy to it. You can put chicken stock, whatever stock you like, but if you eat water, it's still good. You can use a bigger dish because it's more. People eat this with always with rice or none, pita bread, whatever whatever you have in the house. Good. Whatever you have in the house is good. You don't have to you always like go to the store and buy it. So you can eat this with pasta, or rice. But most of the people eat it with rice. So you can never try cilantro, but it's right by the parsley. So. So this is one way you can cook the curry chicken. So. And chicken palau, chicken briny, right? You would take this meat out halfway and you would fry the rice with ghee or butter, whatever you have in that like a house. Then you would put when the rice is half done, you would add the chicken back in. How would you do it? Let's try sauce and gravy. See how it is. Just amazing. So on the potatoes then, and this will be done. See the sauce, just like that reddish right, color. Good 
the sauce is going to go down, right? It's going to reduce because of potato. So I'm going to put a little bit more salt. Make sure if you guys are doing it at your house, make sure you guys measure it. Come back and check probably around eight minutes. See if it's done. So to cook it, this is like chickens, everything's done. So chickens have them. So you cook this for at least for like eight minutes until the potato is done, then this is done. I'm gonna end my video right here. So no, I don't want it to be too long, like a movie. But that's how it is, right? After you put this in, then or you could boil the potatoes and add it in here if you like. Right? So you cook the potatoes for at least for like five, eight minutes, and it's done. So that's how it is, guys. See? So let me know what do you guys think, and enjoy cooking it at your home. And thanks for watching. Bye for now, guys.